Yo, what's up guys? Blazing Wrath here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Season 2 of Halo Infinite. And hope this doesn't turn to shit. And hope the game doesn't crash on me like that mid-season update. Yeah. Alright, let's uh I just got I just got into the game, so let's just check some things out, I guess. So let's I guess let's take a look at this battle pass, huh? Wait, whoa. Uh well, there's a mental emergency. Watch cinematic? Hostiles. They're wolves. Back from the hunt. Oh, look, there's me. This neural link is corrupted, ma'am. I'll have to pull the chip. No. And Do that, he dies. And we lose everything he risked his life for. We were on a recon up, investigating banished activity at the old UNSC fleet depot on Gamba. The one the Covenant destroyed in 42? Mm -hmm. The banished brought it back online, added their own shipbreaking gear. We spent two days watching them cut apart one of our cruisers. Then Dean saw one of his opportunities to improvise. Yeah, that sounds like something he would say. Hmm, got a good link. Okay, show me. Eklund. What exactly did Spartan Din put inside his head? A banished AI. The first I've ever seen. That anyone has ever seen. Who dares to cage the mighty Aratus? I will crush your bodies and feast on the bar. How did you find him? It found us. Dean's opportunity was a gap in their security protocols. We went in and... And I attacked! Weaklings, cowards! You will beg for mercy before the end. We fought our way out of their shipyard, hijacked that phantom. But the AI followed, tried to offline the phantom's engines, locked down its flight controls. So Din gave it a more attractive target. One more thing. He made me promise to show you this, no matter what. It's guarding an archive. The entire banished operation on Camber. Whatever they were trying to learn, it's in here. And maybe a whole lot more. Huh. He's stable. Barely. We gotta get that thing out of him. How? Carefully. And then get it to tell us everything it knows. Okay. Me and Din, we came up together. He's a fighter. But that banished AI, it's gonna kill him if we don't act fast and break a few rules. I gave the order to upload the schematics of the banished facility on Canberra to our combat simulation. Now, there's an open door for Iratus. I need you and as many Spartans as possible to hit the sim. And when you do, I'm betting Iratus gets, well, irritated. Angry enough to leave Din and go after you. And when he does, we'll slam the door shut behind him. So, yeah. You and your teammates are the bait. Try not to get bitten. All right. What do I think of the season two battle pass? Uh, 
it's pretty good. Like, it's it's much better than uh, season one, that's for sure. It's just a little my little nitpick so far. What I've seen is the coating should just be one if it's gonna go into multiple like, vehicle and armor. It should just be one tier. Uh, the the emblems should also be like just one emblem for a tier. I hate like I don't like seeing multiple emblems just for different weapons and vehicles and one for your armor and shit. This is kind of padding out. And I feel like I'm missing one more. All right, so the the event is pretty cool, but we'll have to see those challenges. Oh, cool! And there's a stance for the ultimate. All right, so. The Sealox armor set, if it included the coating, maybe I'd feel a little better about it, but $12 is a bit too steep for me. Ari at Midnight, not good because there's already people, including myself, that have the Rockstar coatings, and now this basically invalidates that. So, not good. And the Perfect Sublimity is fine, and these, the level of letter, this bundle here, is fine. So overall, my complaints are just the Sealox armor set, it should include the coating, I don't see it. I mean, it's even advertised in the picture, and this is shit because this invalidates Rockstar coding that people like me got. Let's take a look at the HCS offers. Okay. Alright, I think that's, that's gonna do it for this video, at least when it comes to what I'm seeing right now in the menus. I've already, I've read some patch notes already before coming in here. So, and what I read, so a lot of it sounds good, and some of it doesn't sound good at all. Like I'm aware, like three ch the three changes already that I don't like are the nerf to sliding, which I've seen some videos, or like some clips. Um, I've heard the nerf to melee, which I, I disagree. And one that I didn't know about was a nerf to like jump ups and skill jumps, like what? What are you guys doing? But this is just my first impressions of the menus, and that's gonna do it for now. And I do have some more uh, other videos still in the works, but I just wanted to get this one out and just get my first impressions. So that'll be it. Both my links, Twitch, and my Twitter, down in the description. I'll leave a like if you enjoyed my first impressions. Uh, subscribe if you want to stick around. And until next time, peace.